the big valleys, and then we're going to look at a new section, which will And we're starting here, right past the grassy section. And what we're going to do is el basically eliminate the grassy section on top, which is only hmm, probably 50 feet. And then we're going to add all of what you're going to see now. And plus, and this is not completely finished. This Carla and I have worked on it. And I'll probably have a couple more days worth of work to go on this one. This is a section of trail that I had originally intended to incorporate into the shoot, except with time constraints and building season kind of ran out. I, I went ahead and did a shortcut, so now we're putting this back in since we're working on the whole Tohoka Adventure system. This kind of a goal, which is really a big goal to get done this year. But you see, it's still another real interesting place. There's some great big trees up here on the top, and it, they're so big that there's not a lot of undergrowth. So this was kind of a, another fun section to build. They're all fun. But it's got a lot of view up here. And I believe it's a fairly easy section, kind of a rest break. By the time you get up here, to, you can get this, and you're able to enjoy the views simply because you don't have to pay quite as much attention to the trail. <clears throat> we dug all this yesterday, just Carla and I. I had raked it the day before, or Wednesday before. And we're coming out at the point here, and this is overlooking a lot more of the adventure trail. The creek down at the bottom is really pretty sight up here. And here's where we stop digging. And you see this neat tree. Go on a little bit. We're way out of the point here. And we'll start looping back to that grassy section. And the trail heads right on back on the other side. See, Mama never told him there's a devil in me. I got a six shooting pistol and I'm ready to leave. 